Hey there my fellow designers and creative, hope you're all doing well, this is Chetan here from Design Palette and I'm back again today with another video. In this video we're gonna take a look at the new features and improvements made to Adobe XD. This is the February 2019 update, I think this is version 16. There are not a lot of features in this update but uh, nevertheless let's go ahead and show you what is included in this update. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, so before we quickly get started, uh, I just wanted to mention that I'm conducting this massive design giveaway where I'm giving a ton of resources and tools and licenses for a lot of products. I'm going to be picking around 40 to 50 winners. So make sure to go to the link in the description, check out the video to see what and all I'm offering. I'm also giving out a lot of amazing promo codes for a ton of resources so you guys can check that out as well. And the giveaway ends on February 15th. So if you're watching this video after February 15th, I'm sorry the giveaway has ended. So without any further ado, let's get into this tutorial. So here I'm in Photoshop and the reason I'm showing you Photoshop is because the first two, uh, you know, updates, uh, first two features or improvements relate to Photoshop. So, and that is the ability to import Photoshop files into XD with smart objects not being rasterized, which means the smart objects can now be edited. So if I go ahead and just go ahead and create a circle like so, all right, and I can just quickly go ahead and center this. And what I'm going to do is oh, press Control D to deselect. I'm going to right click and then choose Convert to Smart Object. And you can get this uh, icon which says that it's a smart object. I can double click to get inside that. And I'm going to import this image uh, over here. And I'm going to press Control T and I'm going to scale this. And I'm going to mask this and press Control S. So now what happens is over here we have this image mask. So now this is a smart object. So I'm going to press Control S and that's going to save that. And now when I go to Adobe XD, I can go and choose File Import. Now the second feature is that whenever I press Import, it's going to open it right into this document and not into a separate Adobe XD document. Um, so that saves you a lot of time. So I can go and I can choose the Feb update and click on Import. And uh, there you go, it imports right over here. This is for the next one. So I'm just going to keep this down. All right, so now if I go here and check out the layers panel, I can see I have the uh, name of the Photoshop document and I open that up. I have this uh, smart object, which is in the form of a folder. And I've also got a mask and an ellipse. So uh, it's pretty cool. Everything is completely editable and there. And obviously the background layer was locked because in Photoshop, the background layer was again locked. All right guys, so the next one is related to exporting to After Effects. Just two small minor changes. So the first one is that uh, it now supports text paragraph spacing. So when you export it into After Effects, you can change the paragraph spacing, uh, the lines spacing as you can see over here. Let's uh, go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. All right, so you can change this. All right, and also it has the ability to change the inner and the outer stroke. So as you can see, this one has an inner stroke and this one has an outer stroke. Alright guys, so the next one is a big improvement and that is adding narration to your prototypes. Now there is a small difference between the Windows and the Mac. Uh, this is the first time Windows was ahead and Mac was behind, but now they both of them are at the same par. So um, let me show you what it is. So when you go ahead and click on prototype, uh, sorry, um, preview, you can see that you can go ahead and go to the corner and it says press Windows G to record your prototype using the Windows game recording tool. Now this was there, you know, I think a couple of updates back. So if I go ahead and show you guys the settings in the game bar, so game bar is basically, it's available only for Windows 10, of course, because XD runs on Windows 10. And it's basically a kind of a, a tool to help you record your stuff. So I'm gonna press Windows G, which is my shortcut, and that's gonna open up, uh, let's actually close this down and press Windows G. And that's going to open up this kind of a uh, dialog box which says Adobe XD CC. And what I can do is I can turn on the mic while recording. So what's happening is when I press the record button, it's uh, or the record button, it's going to start recording the screen. And, and also I can speak along and I can show to whomever I'm showing this prototype the screens as well as my voice attached with it. Now this was not there for Mac. So basically what happens is the person who is who you send the video to gets to see the screens moving along with your cursor and also the voice that you're giving in the background explaining every single thing. So if you're making a couple of changes, uh, if you are making a revised version and you're sending off the revised version, you can speak about it so that the person has context and he doesn't see only the visuals. Now let me show you how this is on the Mac. So here I am on the Mac 
And as you can see on the right hand corner, I have the same uh, record preview. But if I come down, you can see I have an option that says enable microphone. So now I just have to enable it. And now when I start up uh, recording the prototype, which I can do directly here from Adobe XT, but this record prototype feature is not there in Windows, just so that you guys know that and uh, it's going to start recording my voice as well. So now both platforms have the same functionality. All right guys, so coming up to the last feature, that's, this is a new feature which is highly requested. I'm not, sure, I'm not quite sure why they did this so late. They should have probably released it in the first update itself, but that is uh, the shortcut for the eyedropper tool. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a rectangle uh, square and you know I can press I on my keyboard to get the eyedropper tool. And as you can see, I got the eyedropper tool and I can just go ahead and select anything I want and it's going to pick that up. But unfortunately, it doesn't pick up gradients. Uh, so it's just solid flat colors. But one thing you need to know is to get the eyedropper tool, you need to have a layer selected and then press I on the keyboard and then you can have to go ahead and pick any color. And then if you decide that you don't want the eyedropper tool, you can just press escape and that's going to go. So that's pretty much it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll see you guys in my next video, so till then take care and bye bye.